For some reason, my volume was up on my phone. What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Welcome to the Honky Tonk Highway. I'm Kelly Cavalera, one half of 7 Area Media. Episode 93. A few more. That's right. Almost done. And today, I'm going to be telling you every show for the next week, including the special ones that are happening this weekend at 12 noon Eastern, 5 p.m. UK time. That's right. We're going to be doing a show both Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And then I got some great shows lined up for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday leading up to, that's right, the 100th episode with Mr. Guyton Monday. Not going to want to miss that. I'm going to the Guyton Compound live, two hours with the G-Man. It's going to be crazy. And it's my birthday that day, too. So the 100th episode on my birthday, going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. That's right. Huge shout out to everyone joining me so far in the chat. Glad to see everyone today on this lovely Friday. Also, guys, don't forget, we just got done doing the last review show over on Streamline. That's right. The Streamline boys, every day this week, we put together a demo and walkthrough show of every dance nominated for Crystal Boot, all 67 of them. We did Absolute Beginners on Monday, the Beginners on Tuesday. Wednesday was Improvers. Yesterday was the 20, that's right, 20 Intermediate Dances. And today we did the 13 Advanced. So now, don't forget, voting ends Monday at midnight UK time. Head over, vote, and don't forget, get your pass. They're only 25 pounds, crystalbootawards.com. Make sure you get your pass to come attend. Also, like, follow, share, subscribe, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. You don't want to miss what we're going to be doing. Lots of great stuff coming up. Lots of new stuff happening on the highway and stuff we're going to be posting over on YouTube, so make sure to tune into that. And don't forget... We have a podcast now. We take the audio from these shows, rip them off. We put them up on Apple iTunes and Spotify. That way, if you can't make the show, you can listen to them and check that out. Also, every Tuesday, like today's show is about the Line Dance Radio, Honky Tonk Highway hits the airwaves every Tuesday, 2 to 4 UK time, 9 to 11 on the East Coast. That way, we do pretty much what I do on the show, but I get to play some music, which is great. So, like I said, today's show all about line dancer radio i always get asked how do we find it where do we go how do we use it so today's entire show is on line dancer radio and what it is how to use it and all sorts of things like that so if you have any questions about it after the chat, guys, you're not going to miss it so definitely tune in for that and um make sure to ask your questions and all that so right off the bat i'm going to switch my screens up here because i have it where we can see my screen. Where did you go? Boom. There's my computer screen. There's a pay. There's their. There's their internet. There's their web page right on lineanswer slash radio dot com, and this is what you see. Okay, you can sign in and register up in the top left hand corner. You see my lovely face on the side there, but you're gonna see exactly what I see when you go to lineanswerradio dot com. There's many ways to listen to it. There's the website. They have an app. If um, I'm not sure, I've never tried it in the U.S., but I know in, Ale in the U.K. on Alexa, you can say, hey, Alexa, play Line Dancer Radio, and it works. I apologize now for anybody watching the U.K. It has an Alexa, because <laughs> I probably just turned it on. <laughs> um, there's the Mixcloud app, which I'm going to talk to you about, where we uh, also store our shows for you to watch throughout the week, and we're going to go through there. So, But here is the main website, and... Um, Right off the bat, you can see it. This is the same front page you get to if you go to it on your phone, your iPad, or your computer. So it says right down here, you can listen now, PC or laptop, or a mobile phone, or your iPad. Mobiles includes tablets, guys. Um, so if you're walking, listen on PC or laptop, you're gonna hit this right here. And it's gonna go to this next page. Now, I am not gonna hit this button right here, because if right now, if I hit this button, we're going to be live on air, and you're gonna you're gonna get to listen to. I believe Michael Lynn is still currently on Line Dancer Radio after dark right now, so I am not gonna hit that because you're gonna hear the music. Um, I know Ross just shared um, the website in the chat for me. Thank you, Mr. Ross Brown. He is one of the DJs on 
Line Dance Radio. And it looks like Gary Steele has just joined us. I know he is one. Um, Michael Lynn is currently um, one of the newest shows that we started back in September was LDR After Dark. It's a show that goes from 8 to 10, at least 8 to 10. I know many people have gone past 10 UK time. And it's kind of like a no rule show. You never know. It's a rotating DJs. You never know who's going to show up. You never know what's going to happen. Um, it's pretty much a fun show. But that's where you go. You hit play on the computer, and right, and then it will start playing. And that's the perfect way to listen to the computer. Now I'm going to go back to the home page here, because if you scroll down, right here you can click on it, and it'll give you the program of daily shows. Now, there's two Facebook pages. There's Line Dancer Radio's Facebook page, and there's the Line Dancer Radio chat room, which is a group. Every day on Line Dancer Radio's Facebook page, Debbie Morgan shares this schedule for the day, the next day. So, like today is Friday, a little bit late later, she'll gla she'll share what's going on on Saturday, including the schedule. This is the schedule of all the live shows. Line Dancer Radio runs for 24 hours a day. So. In between all these live shows, you have um, some DJs go on and do some special random shows, but we also replay all the shows. So, like, for example, what, uh, if you miss my show on Tuesdays, which is 2 to 4 UK time, on s Sunday morning at usually 5 a.m. UK time or 5.30, which is 12.30 um, on the East Coast, that gets replayed. So you can re-listen, or there's another way that I'll tell you about that you can re-listen at any time. But this is the schedule of live shows. Um, you see, every day, Monday through Friday, we 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 wake up with Willie Brown, which that's that's a beast in itself. But we have Heather Barton. Some we have some amazing DJs, and I'm gonna go back here, and I could guess go to the DJ team. But we got the admin team behind the scenes. Betty Drummond is the owner. Our ad our our three admins of Julie Lockton. Debbie Morgan and Dave Morgan, which, if anybody knows, Debbie Morgan is a lifesaver for all of us DJs. Um, no, Maddie, I have not announced the future date, the, the topic yet for the next seven days. That's coming up uh, in a little bit. Uh, Adrian Checkley, who's the music data consultant. Uh, Kelly and uh, myself, who's the media support and assistance. We do a bunch of the social media stuff and the t uh, stuff like that. And then... Steve Barton and Fred Broy, who uh, handle tech and sound, which is always a great help. Love those guys. Um, uh, Steven, they're mainly it's it's they're 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 they they're line dance music uh, mixed in with a lot of talking with the discussion. Um, so, like on my show, we we have the line dance radio chat room, and we put up a chat so people can type and listen to on on Facebook in the chat room and chat with us while we're DJing and you're listening to online dance radio. Yes, Gary. Yes. Useless bit of info. Uh, he used to be on the management team and tech and sound team. Um, Gary was, if you have watched the first one of meet the DJs, he was one of the founding members, one along with Michael Lynn and, um, it was Julie locked in Michael Lynn, uh, Gary Steele, Dave and Debbie Morgan and uh, Betty Drummond on that show with me which is great. Um, but it does a little bit of everything. Uh, Tino Herger's just joined us. Uh, he is one of the DJs. He does a great show on Saturdays. Uh, Gary does um, the uh, brunch show. Uh, I'll read off the shows in a minute. I know all the names of it. Just don't know the exact names. Um, these are some of the shows and DJs. Dave Morgan, of course, he does a show, Timelines Carrying Up the Line. We have the Sunday Chill and New Line with Michael Lynn. Uh, Julie no longer does the breakfast in Benidorm. That one hasn't been updated yet, but she still does. It's a classic. Adrian has a country love and line show and an all request show. Kathy Hodgson has a back to back show. Heather has a, a blether with Heather or a blether with Heather as JP Maj would call her. <laughs> and, um, the Monday mix up Fred, of course, does the Dutch and line show. The line dance podcast. The first time you hear the line dance podcast before it's played anywhere else with Chris and Megan is played every Tuesday at uh, 4 o'clock right here on Line Dance Radio. Ah, it's Sunday brunch. I knew it was something to do with food. <laughs> the Sunday brunch is the one Gary does <laughs> on Sundays. Um, Darren Mitchell, Mr. Lonely Drum himself, does the Dazza Down Under show. Um, Jenny Bradshaw does Jenny's Jukebox. 
Uh, Alexis Strong done. It's all about the intermediates. Ross Brown does Around the World with Ross. Um, Robert Lindsay does the country line and artisan line. You have Nick who does the grapevine and starting something show. Mike Stringer does Feel Good Thursdays. Um, Haley does Hitch a Ride with Haley. Philip, who is the, on the show right before me every Tuesday, does Asian in line. <laughs> um, Willie Brown does Wake Up with Willie Monday through Friday. Of course, I do the Honky Tonk Highway. Um, Big Dave does the award show and a monthly chart show. Nikki Napier, one half of Caligo, does all about our bands, and she usually has some great guests on there. And, of course, Tino Herger does a line dance roulette. <laughs> Carrie just said the Sunday brunch. <laughs> Have you seen my belly? Um, Elaine Cook just says, in an iPhone, can you listen to the show and also access the chat at the same time? And Gary just did put, yes, just press the home button on the phone while the radio is playing and then open up Facebook um, or just on like now on the new iPhone, just slide it up. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Robert's artist in line has ended now. I forgot because we just did. Yeah, I just did redo that <laughs> that thing. That just hasn't been updated. Um, so there's a list of the shows that are currently on. Um, a lot have no have been added this year. So I'm actually going to go back to the daily program, and this is the look of all the lives. Like I said, um, Debbie every day on Line Dance Radio's Facebook page posts the, what's happening the very next day, and it shows what the catch up shows are, which are the replays, and who is when. This is based on UK time, guys. So just to give you a heads up, it is all based on the UK time. So for anybody on the East Coast of Florida, add five hours. So, yeah, Gary, you're still on iPhone 8. When you get rid of past set 8, you're going to lose that home button, buddy. No more no more getting to press the home button. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so many options. Like I said, the radio does run 24-7. So also on here, you have the Teach of the Week, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the poll that Dave does every week. He puts it up here. This is the teach, all the Teachers of the Week. Um, the LDF does a bunch of info on the Line Dancer Foundation. <laughs> yeah. Gary's like, no, yes, unfortunately, the home button goes bye-bye. Sorry, bud. Um, you have info, co uh, community forums, different events. Um, but the main one that you can say, like the DJ team, this is a private area. This is for us. But it has the list of all the DJs um, in the home page. So it's, it's really can get confusing. Don't forget the dash mainly is what I tell people. Don't forget the dash. But this is a great tool if you just want to listen all day. Um, and have some kind of music playing in the background with some chit chat. Um, I know a lot of people, like I know Betty listens to it all day. Um, like Ross just said, um, he, uh, Lane, he does suggest accessing the radio via the Safari app on the iPhone. It seems more reliable than, um, than the likes of Google Chrome. I agree with him. I use Safari all the time. Um, the one thing I have noticed, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it here, but, uh, Gary just put it up and what I'm going to show. I use the MyTuner app. Um, it's a free app you can download um, and just follow Line Dancer Radio on it. And you can play everything right through the MyTuner app. It seems a little bit more on the iPhone. It does seem, for me at least over here in the States, a little bit more reliable than going through a Safari even on the iPhone. If I'm home, I just put it up on my computer and let it play in the background. If I'm in my office working all day or pre and then prepping live feeds, I'll have it up in the background. Um, I always get up uh, two to three hours early on Tuesday morning before my show um, to make sure everything's prepped and ready. So I'll have uh, usually catch the end of Nick's show and then right into Philip's show right before and um, have Philip's show playing in the background. Um, the, all the, the other way, so once we're done with the show, we always upload them. Um, that way we can use, yeah, Tino, you use Alexa. I, I haven't tried. I don't have an Alexa. I don't know how well Alexa works over here for playing. Um, but we don't, I don't have one. So I know that's the option, especially over there. Um, but the app, the app on my tuner on our phone works great. I am, I use it in my car all the time where I'll have it playing. Um, 
But if you don't want to say, say you miss my show and you don't want to wait until the replay, um, you can go right down here to Mixcloud. And Mixcloud is a free, again, it, they have an app. I have the app on my phone as well. Mixcloud is an absolute free app. And um, you can go down here and you can just, it brings up Line Dancer Radio. And it have all the shows that have been uploaded. So every show from this past week that has been uploaded, you can search. Um, I know Ross just said, <laughs> Steven said, make sure you don't say Alexa too loud. My entire house will go off. Yeah, no, see, we have a couple Googles. Um, I'm, I'm an Apple house, though. I, I very much, I, I'm an Apple guy. But we have Googles because uh, Kelly got an alarm clock that was a Google had the Google Assistant on it. And uh, we got another one for the kitchen um, to just use our lights. Um, yes, don't worry, guys. I'm going to get to the chat because I'm going to bring up Facebook here in a moment. Um, but you can pretty much go back and you can listen to these anytime. You have all the shows. And I know Ross just did it, and I'm trying to remember where I have to go. Playlist. Bingo. <laughs> um, he made playlists for every show. Um, huge shout out to uh, Ross Brown, by the way. So, like, if you wanted to kick all the honky tonk highways, he went back, I think, a year or eleven or something like that. There's a couple that Dave stepped in for me. Um, yeah, he added all the way back till uh, October. Um, but you can search more off the playlist uh, to go all the way back to July. Um. And find them. You can find every show I've done on here um, that we've done. So, but that's something you can easily do, and you can access at any time during the week. <laughs> you have twelve Alexa, Steve. That's a I. Doesn't that seem a little overkill? Amy just said she has a Google Home Mini. Um, yeah, I feel like she brought he brought that on himself too. That's a lot. Twelve. It sounds like me and IMAX or Max. <laughs> we have computers everywhere in the house. Um, but the other thing I'm gonna bring up and I'm gonna go to Facebook now. So you're gonna get to see my Facebook page, guys. So I'm gonna bring up Facebook page and I'm gonna go to my groups. And I'm already a member of it. But Michael Lynn is currently live, but there's a line dancer radio chat room. Line dancer radio chat room is a great tool. Okay, every one of us DJs, you have the Echo Glass. I, rem oh, I remember you posting about that. I will tell you this. I wear contacts. I, I'm not a big fan of going back to glasses, but I will tell you this. The Apple glasses kind of made me want to get possibly get glasses. I've seen the Apple glasses up there. Uh, if they even have half the abilities that they say they're going to have, I might have to go to the Apple glasses. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> That's just going to be great. So Line Dance Radio chat room is ran by Line Dance Radio. And um, what we do is every DJ here, and like I said here, Debbie posted in here as well. She just shared the schedule. This is the schedule for uh, yesterday. This was the schedule for today. So you can see here, here she shows you where you can listen to go to listen to it. Alexa, start Line Dance Radio, the TuneIn app, the LDR Android app, the MyTuner app. Um, there's the website. And then here's a list of everything going on on the on the radio, including all the catch up catch up shows from midnight or twelve thirty last night, this morning, till tonight. So every show like around the world, the replay of Ross's Around the World show was this morning, and then the replay of uh, Daza Down Under. Um, yeah, you know, Alexa's replay, Willie's live show. Today was a really big catch up day. Um. But like here's here's Michael. He posted this right before his show went live about the LDR after dark tonight. And there you see everybody commenting in there about the show. Um, Willie does it every morning. So this way you can go in here and chat with the DJ and other people listening. Um so definitely use it. Um but I also definitely recommend guys going and following Line Dancer Radio. And I'm going to pull it up here because I know I have it up. 
um, line dancer. That way, this is where a lot of information gets posted as well. Um, this way, you can make sure you don't miss nothing. Um, this is where all the CBA stuff was posted. Um, Debbie posts the schedule every day. Uh -huh. Sarah says, I only have an addiction to line dancer radio. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad addiction though, Sarah, so that's good. Tina says, I'm a little, a little skeptical of Alexa because the Alexa app on phones is not available here in Switzerland, but surprisingly enough, I managed to set up my Alexa and connect it to my U.S. account. It works like a charm now. Don't know if I could do that again, though. <laughs> Took quite some time. I can only imagine. Um, Maddie, it's okay. I, I didn't know it until someone told me it either that you could do it with Alexa because I don't have one here. And uh, I just, I've never... I didn't know that. I think it. I think I saw. I think it was Michael Lynn's post, one of his posts one day, where he had the little Alexa thing in. Um, it says where where he said it, and uh, that's how. Um, I knew you could do it with that, but we don't have an Alexa, so I never knew about it. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Steve. <laughs> Hopefully, it was good music. Um, so there are some of the basics, guys. So if you have any questions, um, feel, please feel free to ask. I always get asked about um, different ways to uh, to listen and um, how to find it and make it easier. So uh, please ask away. Um, there's many ways to listen to the radio. Um, it runs nonstop music, talk shows. Um, I know I do some talking. I know every, pretty much all the DJs don't mind talking. Um, the only difference is it's great. I don't have to be on camera. <laughs> so, uh, but we have some fun. We have fun. Um, every show seems to have a theme. Um, every now and again, we throw in some oddballs. It's always great. That's kind of why LDR after dark was created. Kind of like a little party Friday night night since no events were going on. And it, it's, it seemed to be fun so far. Um, a lot of the DJs have gotten involved. It seemed to be. It seemed to be something that was entertaining. Um, I think one of the, I think, I think it was Jenny that decided to DJ from eight o'clock UK time PM until um, breakfast in Benidorm on Saturday morning. I think it was when Julie had her show. She went, she went for the whole twelve hours or something like that. Uh, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I remember, I remember seeing something like that. I, I, I've DJed two LDR after darks and I have yet to go, uh, for that long. Sorry guys. <laughs> I did the very first one and then I did Halloween. <laughs> so can never go wrong. Well, the Friday of Halloween, at least third, that Friday night. So anybody have any questions out there? Different comments. Yep. I was for Sharon, right? Did a 12 hour, eight, eight to eight. I was Sharon and Ross just, uh, just confirmed it. I thought so. I thought she went, I thought that's what she did. That's crazy. Just been joined by Mr. Morgan, and <laughs> he said yes. Jenny did an all nighter, so I've had a I've had a couple of people say I should do an all night uh, uh, an all night uh, video broadcast. I'm like, are you crazy? Do you think people really want to see me for 12 hours? That's just nuts. That was the hardest thing adjusting to be doing the talk show is being on screen. Because I was always used to, for all the years, being behind the camera. It's the being in front of the camera that took a little bit of time to adjust to. And <laughs> I'm like, are people really going to want to see me for an hour and, and, and listen to me talk? And so far, it's worked out pretty good, thankfully. <laughs> so, but there you have a lot of the stuff on Line Dance Radio, guys. Some different ways that you can use it. Some different, um, some different options. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> Kelly said that's a no. She likes to sleep. Um, some different options. You have the app. Um, you can go right through the web browser. You can use the PC. Um, obviously, you can use Alexa as we've turned some on by mistake. There's the chat room. There's a Line Dancer Radio Facebook page. Make sure, head over, like and follow that page. Join the chat group. Excuse me. Make sure to come in and join the chat group. It's a blast getting the chat along um, with people in it and um, having people included. We all have a blast. Like I said, here is what the Facebook page looks like. Line Dancer Radio. Head over, like it, and follow it. And then 
see if I can bring up the group again. Bingo. Line Dancer Radio chat room. Line Dancer, one word. <laughs> Boom. Here we go. Oh, nope. I did that again. I do that every time. This is a group. Unlike the other one thing, is a page. This is a public group. You just got to um, ask to join. And you have all these different shows you can chat with as they are live. It is great. So. Any questions so far on anything that I have shown you guys? Oh, no, it's it's absolutely free, Steve. There is no cost. Line Dance Radio is absolutely free. Totally free. Zero zilch. Nada. Absolutely free service. It's an online radio station you can listen to 24 hours a day for free. Uh oh. I'm always scared, Paul, when you say you have a question. <laughs> Mr. Paul Linda James in the house. I'm digging, by the way, I saw your pictures today on Facebook. I'm digging the fur line. I'm digging the fur line hood with the snow. I'm digging that look for you, bro. It goes great with your beard. <laughs> Why are my eyes so pretty? <laughs> I I can't answer that. Um, I, I was blessed with, 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 with great blue eyes. What can I say? And though those are, I wear clear contacts, so no, that's not colored contacts. I've just, I've, that's the one thing people always do say. They like my eyes. I have been, I have been very blessed from a young age. They never change color. They were like this my entire life. <laughs> How come I knew it was going to be a question like that? So, as we get back, today's obviously episode 93. Yeah, and like Sarah says, the chat room is what makes it totally different from the normal radio station. So much fun. And Tino just said it perfectly. It wouldn't be the same without you guys interacting with us DJs. It does make it worth it. It does make it very easy to uh, keep going, to chat along, watch the craziness. Um, I, I remember my first LDR after dark. Um, mind you, it's after dark for everyone in the UK, but it's only three o'clock here. So I'm. it's afternoon time and I'm, I'm partying, I'm playing. And everyone in the chat goes kept kept saying there was police choppers flying around we had two different people have police choppers fly over their house the night of the first ldr after dark so i'm like how this just isn't going this isn't going well i'm like who's getting arrested on my first ldr after dark what did i do <laughs> Um, if I can move this around, give me one moment, guys. I'm going to switch something up here. There we go. Now I can see. Boom. Uh, moving some of my screens around for I can see stuff. So, as I said, don't forget, guys, like we're leading up to the show. 100th episodes this coming week. I'm going out to the. The Guy and Monday compound. <laughs> you guys are having a little fun in the chat. That's that's a little crazy. Um, so leading up to this week's show, we're doing a show a day leading up to the show. For the first time, we're doing episodes of the Honky Tonk Highway on the weekends. We're doing a show on Saturday and on Sunday. Maddie, I know this is what you came for. <laughs> At 12 noon. 12 noon. So, Maddie, it's going to be 9 o'clock in the morning for you. 5 o'clock UK time. We're doing them at special times since it's the weekend. Both the shows this weekend are going to be special shows. They're going to be topic ones. Um, actually, the next three are going to be. So, tomorrow is what I'm going to like to call Strip Down Saturday. I'm going to take you on a, we're going to take you on a tire behind the scenes of seven Euro media. I'm going to have a different camera set up to where you can see 
y'all can see kind of what I see when I'm doing a show, how I put on a show. We're going to talk about the different equipment we have. We're going to take you through a little tour, hopefully, of um, what we have, um, what we go through when we're going ready for an event and stuff like that. We're going to do an entire what we like to call Strip Down Saturday, a little behind the scenes edition of um, Seven Area Media for the Hog, Hog Highway tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow. Sunday, it's going to be Sunday Fun Day. Sunday Fun Day, you're going to get me and Kelly a little Q&A of us. So, you don't need to clean. <laughs> yes, Paul, I understand Strip Town Saturday means a totally different thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sunday is going to be Sunday fun day You're going to get, like I said, an entire Q&A with me and Kelly You're going to get to ask us questions about pretty much anything um, Little, just a little fun fun show We're gonna, you can, We can talk about uh, the company, we can talk about our personal, Disney, what we go to Just a little fun day with us Basket, Both those shows are going to happen at 12 Eastern, 12 noon Eastern, 5 p.m. UK time, 9 o'clock if you're Maddie those are going to be this is going to be two fun shows tomorrow a little behind the scenes and then Sunday the Sunday fun day. So that's episode 94 95. 96 is going to be Monday and it's going to be a look back on the first 95 episodes I did. All right, we're going to talk about the different guests I've had, we're going to talk about um, the different topics, we're going to talk about a look back on everything that we've been through for the first 95 shows. From April 6th, when I did the first one, the first show de debut on April 6th, um, we announced it on um, the end of March that we were doing it. April 6th was the first day we actually went live with the first guest. I believe it was April 6th. Yeah. Um, from episode one all the way up through now. So that's 94, 95, and 96. Then we get to Tuesday. All right. Tuesday, we're going old school. My guest on Tuesday is going to be none other than Cody Stevens. Cody Stevens is a good friend of mine. Hasn't been to a dance event in probably 15 years um, or close to it. You saw him in the chat the other day when McWhorter was on. If you know older dances, the dance floor filler was uh, Cody Stevens and Brian McWhorter. Former competitor, former social guy, former choreographer. Cody Stevens used to do it all. He's going to be my guest on Tuesday. Um, we're going to talk about what he's doing now his time in the dance world and the non-for-profit organization he's involved in with his son. Um, that's going to be on Tuesday on Wednesday. How fitting we're announcing this. And since today's show is about line dancer radio, one of your own DJs is going to be on. Um, he's been involved in streamline since all of this has gone on. He's actually DJing right now on line dancer radio. I'm going to have Michael Lynn joining us on Wednesday we're going to talk about him being nominated for Dedicated DJ, all the teaching he's been doing, how much fun he's been having through this lockdown. So we're going to be live with him on Wednesday. On Thursday, Thursday I went a little overboard. <laughs> not one, not two, not three, but four. Four guests. Four guests. And unfortunately, no, it is not Masters in Line, but that would have been cool. Four guests. I'm accordingly talking about Mark Fennell and the boys. The Welsh Three. It's Mark Fennell, Chris Godin, Matt Lewis, Ray Jones. The guys nominated for not one, but two Crystal Boot Awards. The guys that wrote Legends Tonight that won the last World Dance Masters. That's right. Mark, Chris, Ray, and Matt will be joining me on Thursday, the, sh the episode number 99. That is the week leading up to 100. Three topics, three guests. Well, technically, technically six guests, but three topic shows, three interviews to lead up to, of course, Friday's party show. I'm... I put up the sensors now. We don't know what's going to happen. Guyton, me, live from the compound. Not one, but two hours. That's going to be epic. That's the show. That's the week. 
what can I say? It's going to be awesome. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty pumped. I, I, I'm pretty pumped up for the schedule and the week that's about to happen. Ain't going to lie. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be different. It's going to be a little fun. It's going to be a little crazy. Um, having the four guys on on Thursday, I've been looking forward to that. I've been, I've, I've been trying to figure out a, a good way to bring all four of them on for a while. Um, getting Michael Lynn on, um, I feel it's going to be a great show. Um, the guy's a hoot. It's going to be great. Getting to catch up with Cody on Tuesday. Um, for those who didn't watch the Brian McWhorter show this past week, go back and watch it. Um, I always like bringing the people that were really involved back in the day, um, as I like to call it, the amount of knowledge and the amount of, uh, the amount of love we could spread. Um, is going to be nuts. Uh, no, Guyton is not going to teach, Chris. Uh, we are not doing a teach. Um, we are doing just a two-hour show of us chit-chatting. We're going to answer questions. We're going to talk old-school stuff. Um, I've been very blessed that when I first got into line dancing, that was the guy I got to learn from back at the Wild Horse Saloon. Um, I've been I've been very blessed with that. And I, Guyton's like a brother to me. So um, that show is going to be, we're going to be at the, at his house, at the compound. And it's going to be two hours of us just hanging out, chatting, um, answering questions, talking, telling stories. Um, Guyton giving us an opinion on stuff, which, you know, is always going to be, uh, you never know what he's going to say. Um, so, but no, he is not going to be teaching we are not going to be doing a teach there. It's just going to be me and him having a show. It's going to be in a normal honky tonk highway. It's just we are going to be on the same screen. I'm not calling him in. I'm actually going to go. We're going to do it on location. So, and like like I said, Monday will be just the recap. We're going to turn around and I'm going to talk about the first 95 shows I've done, how we've changed, what we've changed, where we're going. Um, I'll. I'll tell you some things how we're gonna how we're gonna be doing some things after the 100th. Um, a couple things will be uh, altering. We're we're trying. To, you know me. I always try to make stuff better. I'm always trying to improve, changing it up as technology changes, as the time changes, and stuff like that. Um, Sundays, Sunday fun day. Me and Kelly are just gonna have some fun with you, answer some questions, chit chat, talk about our perfect life. <laughs> Sarah just said it's not only and it's not gonna be only two hours of guiding. Um, there's a good possibility. It all, a lot's going to depend on where we get to set the camera up. Um, we're trying to see how far his Wi-Fi will reach, um, to see how far down towards the back dock in the boat we can go. If not, we're going to be doing on his back porch overlooking his boat and a lot's going to determine by the lighting that we have. Um, so it, there's a good possibility that it could run, it could run past seven. You never... You, you, you don't know. That's that's a great point. <laughs> and tomorrow's behind the scenes show, guys. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to set up another camera straight behind me. That way you can get a whole look on what I um, and what I see every time I do a show. Like I have the two screens. I have an iPad. I have two cameras, the mic. So you're going to get to see you're going to get to see what it's like to sit behind me for a show. And you're going to see what it's like like our gear and stuff like that on what we go through in events. And, um, it's always funny. Like I remember someone seeing us when we rolled into Vegas last year, we brought for the first time ever Vegas, we brought a third body with us to, uh, to help out. Cause we knew the, what the week was going to entail between the three of us. And mind you, the person we brought, brought, brought a bag, one suitcase, half of a, half of a carry-on and a backpack. We f traveled Southwest purposely because with Southwest Airlines, you get two free check bags. We showed up with a total of 20 bags. We had, no, 12 bags, sorry. 12 suitcases, 12. We each had, we had the six check suitcases, three carry-ons and three backpacks. We, we showed up with 12. Mind you, we usually travel with a golf club bag because we have a traveling golf club bag that holds our poles for our backdrop and our and our lighting equipment um because 
golf bags since don't count as an oversized bag as long as we keep it under the weight limit <laughs> so we can put the oversized poles for our backdrop in a golf club bag and that's how we check that but yeah we, we we literally rolled in we filled up an uber and even when we went to world dance masters a couple years ago we took we took a carry we took a carry-on we took a check bag we took our pelican case full of camera gear and both of our backpacks um we traveled with seven cameras last year when we went to World Dance Masters last year. Um, Amy has has Natalie met, has Natalie been warned. I hope so. I I put Guyton in charge of telling her that. <laughs> so I put Guyton in charge. Guyton is the one that came up with the idea of me coming to the house, um, and not just doing it over it. So we wanted to do something fun and and crazy. Uh, so yeah, we travel with a lot of gear. Um, even when traveling light, we travel with a lot of gear, unexpected travel tips for the win. Yes. Um, we, we, we learned that crazily enough because we used to carry the pole bag that the lights came in as a carry on. And we looked up on Southwest and seeing how, what the size compartments could be. And, um, golf bags were included on the list that you could check. So we went looking for like. Originally, we looked for like the batting, like a baseball bag where you can put bats in, or even like a gun case is what actually we went looking for because I knew gun cases were allowed. And then I walked past the golf section and I looked at Kelly and go, What if we just bought a golf club bag? And we've had it for probably two and a half, three years now. Um, first event we took it to was Detroit. So we put it through, we put it through some crazy weather um, right off the bat. And it's lasted us. It's great. It has one ends on wheels and I can just haul that thing through an airport. And I usually shove it with, um, all the lighting poles, all the backdrop poles, um, extension cords and stuff like that. And then Kelly packs her pillow. It, 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 she found it. It was a great way for her to get to have the excuse of bringing her own pillow with us everywhere. When we, when we travel, so we just throw the pillow inside the bag. <laughs> So it turns out it, it, it turns out it's been pretty nice. Um, that's why we try we try to travel on Southwest as much as possible just due to the fact that we get the free bags when we have to fly. Of course, when I'm bringing the dance floor and I have the big truck, it doesn't matter. I bring all the gear I possibly can. Like I think I, I think I rolled into I rolled into the experience one year with boxes uh, boxes for Madison, Joey, Gary and Shane and I think Fred. Oh, and Simon. We rolled in with all of we had all of their their shirts from previous events and boxes and we just threw them on the back of the truck and brought them for the event for them. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. How to use line answer radio, different ways you can do. And then, of course, the crazy week we're about to have on the Honky Tonk Highway. Um, don't forget, if you haven't yet, go over and vote for the Crystal Boot Awards. You can head back over to Streamline. Watch all five of the shows from this week if you need to. Streamline and the guys put together um, demos and walkthroughs of everything. And over the next two weeks, they're going to be releasing the schedule this weekend probably. Over the next two weeks, you're going to, um, all their workshops for the next two weeks are going to be all 67 dances that are nominated. So Amy just said she's voted. I voted on the first day. Um, I did mine live on air with Jonathan Sack. So definitely check that out. If you need to, a little help on how to vote. Um, different. Um, me and Jonathan broke down of, of why we voted and how we voted on that as well. Um, it wasn't just a okay, we're voting for this, 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 and this. We actually broke down and uh, why. So <laughs> Maddie just says, when we go to Worlds, our West Coast group usually has to order a Suburban for two people and all the bags, and then everyone else gets a separate Uber. <laughs> that I can see that. I can totally see that. The first time we went to Worlds when it was in Nashville, uh, Guyton and I, we, um, we showed up and five of us drove between two cars. We had a luggage rack for 
the suitcases, and then we had a luggage rack for all the alcohol that we showed up with. Um, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, that was the first year. Um, it was just nuts. Just nuts. So, but uh, yeah, head over. Um, you can check that if you have any questions about who to vote for, which way to vote. You can see some more dances. You can watch the demos. Um, that is over in the Streamline group. So definitely check that out. You have until Monday. Monday to vote, guys. Monday, UK t- midnight UK time to vote. Make sure you get your votes in. Also, make sure you get your passes. So, so uh, but definitely join us. Tomorrow's show, it's at noon. I'm going to be posting this again tonight and probably tomorrow, noon. Noon Eastern, 5 p.m. for you guys in the U.K., it's an earlier show. We decided to do it at special times over the weekend. Excuse me. That way we get them done out of the way earlier. Um, and they're both topic shows. You're going to have a little strip down Saturday for a little behind the scenes. Sunday is a Q&A fun day. Sunday fun day with me and Kelly. And then Monday is going to be a look back on the first 95 episodes, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week. It's been the first time we've done a full week like this in a while. So you got, you got a show every day and you got a show every day for the next seven. So hope you're enjoying them guys until next time till tomorrow. Hope it's a good one. See ya.